Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Pioneer 260BH. This is an all new floor plan for the 2019 model year, and it is definitely a great option. If you've been taking a look at some of the double over double bunk models, uh, this one kind of is reminiscent of a lot of them that don't have a slide, but they did fit a slide in here, not a whole lot of extra weight, and it really opens this space up. So let's actually start off right over here. One of my favorite things when manufacturers are able to fit it in a floor plan is a campsite dinette. And the reason is because this is where I'm going to be sitting, having my meals, especially my morning breakfast, my morning coffee. And I wanna take a look out to my campsite. I wanna see what's going on out here, You know, see when my friends are up, whatever it may be. I generally don't wanna look out to the neighbors. So uh, I really appreciate when they can do this. Obviously the dinette has plenty of space here for four people, so you can sit here, have a meal together, play a game together. If you need to do any work, maybe you have a laptop or tablet, there is an electrical outlet underneath, so you have a spot in which you can plug that in. Plus this also drops down into a bed, so if you need the additional sleeping space, you can remove the legs here from both the flange and the table as well as in the floor, and you can drop this down, it'll sit along these rails, take the back cushions, throw them on top, and that will give you that additional sleeping space. Bear in mind, it's not huge, so you know an adult would probably have to curl up a little bit, but if you have any children or if you have like a pack and play, that is a great spot for it. Obviously, we talked about the big window here. Again, it does let in a lot of light during the day, which is fantastic. LED light there up top. As we open this up, you can see the storage going all the way across the top. You have uh, three doors there, so good additional storage above the table. And then you have a little bit of storage right over here in the entertainment center too. Speaking of the entertainment center, you can see this is where your TV will go. Your connections for it are right over here on the side. And underneath is your multimedia center. Uh, this is a radio. Uh, this one is Bluetooth capable as well. It controls the speakers both in here as well as outside. So uh, if you do want to sit outside be able to control music, you can do that uh, via Bluetooth. Right here on the side is your thermostat. This does control both your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. And then right back here in the corner are your double over double bunks. Uh, you can see that they are nice and wide. The great thing about that is if you have, uh, you know, a couple kids that want to sleep in here, if you have adults, you know, maybe it's a fishing weekend, hunting weekend, a girls weekend, whatever it may be, you have space for, uh, you know, an adult to sleep again or a couple kids. If you also take a look right down underneath here, you will see that you have LED lights on both the top and bottom. That one also has your window there to let in some natural light during the day. And then right in the back is the bathroom. So you'll see your foot flush lever toilet right here. Uh, if I take a seat here, you will notice that in front, I have plenty of leg room, no issues whatsoever there. Same thing with the shoulders here, because we have a curtain rather than a door, I have plenty of space. Uh, this door doesn't impede at all, so definitely a, a enough room to do your business right here. Over to this side here is your sink. You do have a little bit of countertop space. You know, you can see enough at least for a soap dish or if you have, um, you know, like a toothbrush or something in there, you can put in there. Some storage underneath. Now this door does not swing all the way open, but you don't really need it to. My opinion, that's a perfect spot for some of your extra rolls of toilet paper or your black tank chemicals. You can just store them right in there. Right here on the walls, your electrical outlet, in case you need to plug in like a hair dryer, curling iron. You also have your tank monitoring panel on here with your water heater and water pump controls. Do note that your water heater does run off both gas and electric, and uh, you can turn on both those at the same time for faster recovery. Right up here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You can see the storage there behind that. And up on the ceiling is your vent fan to help some moisture escape out of the bathroom. I will step over into the tub here just to give you an idea of height. I'm about six foot. You can see that I have a little bit of space here, but if you're much taller, if you're you know 6'1", 6'2", you're probably gonna have to bend down a little bit. But otherwise, you do have pretty good uh, space here to be able to move around. You also have the hand wand right here. You have your shelves built into the both sides, not just this corner, but this corner here as well. And because it is a tub, you can see that the uh, tub wall comes up nice and high. That way the curtain stays in there. And if you have little kids and you want to give them a bath, you can still do that in this bathroom. You don't have to you know, worry about having them have the shower for the first time while they're out camping. If they're used to, used to baths, you can by all means bathe them right in there. 
As we step outside of the bathroom here, you will see you have this uh, storage space right here. You have three shelves that are built in. Folks, these are removable. So if you want to take these out, you know, for some larger items, you can do that kind of to accommodate your needs. You'll see the box for your fuses as well as your breaker panel right down there. And then underneath that is your uh, propane leak detector. So hopefully that never goes off, but in the event that it does, you know that you are safe and secure. And then let's talk about the slide out. As I said, everything, you know, kind of right in here, you've seen this in a lot of floor plans probably that don't have slide outs, but I love the fact they put one in here because it does give you all this extra space. It gives space for the kids to run around and play. Or if you bring a dog camping with you, you know, especially if it's a larger breed, you have uh, places where they can lay. And they're not taking up the entire aisleway. So right over here is your jackknife style sofa. You see three cushions, so you can have three people comfortably sit here because it is a jackknife. You have the storage right underneath, so it's perfect for extra bedding or other large items. One of the other things I really like about this jackknife sofa, folks, is this right here. It looks like a normal cushion, but you flip it down just like that. You have an awesome armrest here. It converts it to a, a place for two people, almost like a pseudo theater seating. You have the light up cup holders. You can turn the lights off if you so choose. But my other favorite feature is the fact you have USB ports right here on the front. So if you need to charge your cell phone, you can plug that in right there. You'll also see you have storage along the top, decorative glass there too, uh, LED light of course here, and then a window running all the way behind it. Right next to the sofa is your fridge freezer combo. You will see you have a little bit of storage right up top there. Good spot maybe for some cookbooks, something like that. Or if you just want to put some decorations up there, you can do that. Maybe a small wine rack, I don't know. Underneath, you have your uh, Dometic fridge freezer combo. Plenty of room in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. It also has your stainless looking panels. Moving over to this side, we get into the main portion of the kitchen. So I like the fact that they give you the glass cooktop cover because that way you can utilize this as prep space. You also have this prep space here. Electrical outlets, you have a spot to plug in anything else, whether it's a coffee maker, blender, whatever else you may use. Uh, they upgraded the backsplash for 2019. I think it looks quite nice. You can kind of see it has some flex in there that, uh, you know, when the light hits it just right, kind of sparkles, which is pretty cool. The cooktop here, obviously you fold this up and back to get access to your three burners. Uh, you'll see that it is upgraded. You have the nicer top on here, and then you have the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Over here to this side, you'll see a little cutout right there, as well as three drawers. You'll notice the drawers are completely finished off, so you don't have any raw wood exposed, not for any splinters or anything like that. But this is perfect for your flatware, some of your other utensils, your third one, you know, whatever else you want to throw in there, hot pads, whatever else, I don't know. Right up top here in your countertop is your large double bowl stainless steel sink. I like how deep these bowls are, folks. This is a place where a lot of manufacturers try to save a little bit of money. They try to make a shallower bowl because it's less expensive. Uh, but I like the fact they give you the deep, very usable bowls here with the high-rise faucet. Underneath that sink, take a look at that. Love this too. Plenty of room for a trash can. I like when they give you all that space because I like having my trash hidden. I don't want to have to hang it around a knob if I can prevent it. Coming up top, you have storage all along the top there. Good spot for cups, plates, bowls, whatever else you need to stuff up here. You also have your microwave right over here to the side. And underneath that is your hood with both a light and a fan. The bedroom in the 260BH has a slider door here, so that way you get some privacy at night. You know, again, if the kids go to bed or whoever's sleeping in the back, it just helps give you a little bit of separation. Right here is your queen size bed. You'll see you have plenty of walking space so that who's ever sleeping on the far side can easily walk around if you have to, you know, get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night or whatever it may be. And then right underneath, you will also notice you have plenty of storage space there. Both sides of the bed, you get a nightstand, which is great. You'll see you have an electrical outlet on both sides too. So if you need to plug in a cell phone or a CPAP machine, you have the ability to do that. Directly up above that is your mirrored wardrobe. You can see the hanging space. And then you have storage going across the top here as well. You can kind of see the cool looking wall board you have right there, as well as a LED light if you want to do some reading at night. You have windows on both sides, the one being an emergency exit. And if you take a look right over here, you'll also see you have TV hookups in case you want to watch TV at night. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2019 Pioneer BH260. 
Right up front here, folks, is your power tongue jack. They basically want to power everything this year, so this makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch here. You can raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light at night for a little added visibility, uh, again, if you need it at night. Right behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door, and that will give you access to those. A little bit further back, you have rails here for your battery. If you so choose to have two batteries, the rails are big enough to accommodate both of them. And then coming up the front is your diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You can see the new graphics package on the 2019 here. If you take a look at the front, it's a lot more streamlined, a lot cleaner. I uh, personally think they did a pretty good job. The pass-through you'll notice is quite large. You'll see you have the same size door on both sides. It's completely finished off. You don't have any exposed structure in here, which I really like. It gives it that clean look and feel. And if you take a look right up front here, you will see that both your power stabilizer jack controls are in there. The one will control your front two stabilizers. The other one, of course, will control, control the rear two. Right here is your power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. This year for 2019, you will see that your LED light strip is actually sewn into the awning fabric there itself rather than in the barrel. Just makes it a little bit easier to use, so that way it doesn't matter if it's completely extended or if it's all the way rolled up, you still have access to that light at night. Making a, a couple steps back here, you'll see that you have three steps to get into the RV as well as a foldable grab handle. This foldable grab handle gives you that extra control when you're entering or exiting, you know, that way you don't accidentally fall and hurt yourself. You'll also see underneath the steps, you have red lights here. You also have red lights in the speakers up top. Uh, I've been told that that will get changed over to blue sometime in the 2019 model year, so uh, you can definitely expect that changeover to happen. But as you can see for right now, you can at least get an idea of what the effect will look like. Just imagine it in blue. Speaking of the speakers, though, you can see those right there. Uh, I talked about those when we were inside a little bit because those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, and again, that is Bluetooth capable. If you plan on doing some boondocking somewhere where you don't have fresh water hookup, that's not an issue, or, or water, city water hookup rather, this is where you'll fill your fresh water tank right there. Uh, pretty simple. You'll obviously want to make sure that you sanitize your fresh water tank regularly. Coming back a little bit further here is your outside TV hookup. So if you want outside TV, this is where it will go. Now bear in mind, this is an electrical outlet, so even if you don't have a TV outside, you can obviously plug anything you want in there. Having outside electric access is definitely great. They did upgrade the wheels here this year as well. You can see they are black instead of the normal silver, Then they kind of have the chrome centers. They just look a little bit better and they blend into the unit much better as well. Right here in the back, couple things I do want to talk about. I didn't talk about it on the front storage compartment. I do want to talk about here. If you take a look, folks, this one uses a different style key. This is not your normal 751 key. That's a good thing to note as far as uh, safety features, right? You don't have to worry about people coming around with the same key, unlocking it, and stealing all your stuff. You have one key that will unlock all of these compartments as well as the door here too, and that is unique to this unit. It's, uh, you know, nobody else has access to your baggage compartments. But take a look inside here, underneath that bunk, you have awesome storage in here as well. So, uh, you know, if you need that extra outside storage, you definitely have it here on the 260. Coming around to the back side, you will notice this one does have a full complete bumper on here with the end caps, which gives you a great spot in which you can store your sewer hose. And attached to that is your extra storage rack. I love when manufacturers are able to put these on for a couple different reasons. One, obviously it allows you to carry more stuff. This is a 200 pound weight capacity on there, so you can put on firewood, you can put on a cooler, bikes, whatever else you wanna put on there. The other thing I really like about it though, folks, is that it doesn't void your warranty because it comes straight from the manufacturer. Uh, some people don't know this, but if you start strapping things on your bumper, sometimes it'll void warranties, but you definitely don't have to worry about it here. You'll also see your spare tires mounted on there, so hopefully you never have to use that, but if you do, it's definitely at an easy place to get to. Right here on the back behind your rack is your black tank flush. So when you're done camping, after you dump out your black tank, hook a hose up right there. There's sprayers built into the black tank. It'll wash out any solids that got left behind. Right up top is your backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor if you have professional installation. Right over here is your 30 amp receptacle, so that's where you'll plug in your power cord. Cable inlet right next to that. 
Moving up a little bit further here, you have an outside shower with both hot and cold water access. You can see the hand wand located there. And then your city water inlet is right next to that. If we drop down below, you will see your main termination with both your black and one of your gray tank dumps here. You do have a second termination up front with another gray tank valve. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Pioneer BH260. If you're interested in this bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.